You like the idea of having that many children out there that you fathered, is that it? Yeah, Shaw Legacy lives on. My family stays strong. I make sure we'll be here for years and years to come. All right, so why is this story important to you? For starters, Tennessee taxpayers, they are now responsible for foot footing the bill for this man's child support, which is outrageous. My guess is that Tennessee is not the only place where this is happening. Number two, what if this is indicative of a decline in the American value system that helped make this the greatest nation on earth? It's something we should all be mindful of. And lastly, let's not forget, there are 22 children involved in this case, 22 young, impressionable minds they're going to help shape the next generation of America. Their dad, good role model, you decide. Here with Reaction, radio talk shows, David Webb, Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey. Sir, he can't pay? He doesn't even know around. He couldn't even in the interview yeah. name even all the care. kids. If, if there was ever a time that sterilization should be a law, he should not be allowed to procreate ever again. That's you the first thing. You would support that? 100 For this kind of people, it's ridiculous. I mean, come on, that's stupid. The other thing is... We have to ask ourselves, Sean, because we don't know all the facts. But no disrespect, what about the women involved here? Now, I don't know if they came from the same community. There has to be responsibility all over the place. Well, everybody, yeah. Yeah, and the last thing is, be honest with you, and I think Dave would agree, we've been paying for years on these type of things. If you go to paternity court in most states, you have these women who are impregnated, all sides, by the way, diversity everywhere on this. No child support paid, and we pay for it. What's, you know, Sean, and I'm going to go to the numbers because taxpayers should be pissed about this. What's wrong with this man? I don't care about his color or these women or whatever that do this. I'm with you on that. That's the outrage. The women should have kept their legs closed. This is a guy who, by the way, has a criminal record, so it's going to be hard for him to get a job. The judge talks about that. Judge Rosenberg talks about that. The Senate just passed a food a farm bill 760.2 billion dollars for the snap program in that bill the house version will have maybe 19 billion less you know what that pays for it pays for this kind of thing and you wonder why politicians play their way to the profligacy on both sides and this boomtown we talked about boomtown too and the and the right. the inst in the intentional corruption mm -hmm. You talk about character, this is supporting character. We're feeding this beast of irresponsibility. And frankly, to everyone, this man should be ashamed. And, These and, women should be disgusted. They should be shunned. And this is something we have to look at seriously, Sean. I, you hate to say this, but in some cases, this is a business for people. There are, there are women, unfortunately, that are getting impregnated that look for subsidy, knowing that the men, under no condition, under no condition, can ever afford child support. They know they're going to end up going to welfare for money. They know that the taxpayers are not in a, are going to pay it. And as a result, they know that the state will never the state will never collect from this guy well, on any level. Here's what I thought about when I when I first heard the audio, mm -hmm. then looked at the video. I'm thinking 22 kids, he can't afford a penny in child support for any of them. Let's see. Shouldn't the dad be there? What, 14, he says maybe 17 or 18 mothers. That's in dispute, by the way. And I'm thinking, those kids don't get to hang out with their father. They don't get to go to a ball game. They don't get to play catch. They don't get to, you know, be told to do their homework. And I'm thinking, where's the thought process about them? Who thinks about them? Look at what he says in the interview. He says, you know, my kids will go on. I'm proud of my kids. Let me ask the other side of the question. Even name Are all his of them in kids that interview? proud of him? Are they running around going, who's my daddy? Or, frankly, if you get them in a room, do they know who their mothers are? Both sides are guilty. It's unfortunate that this is a black issue, and, frankly, it's a big problem. I don't think, it's, I don't black, think this is about it's race. Bigger, it's Why is it about, about race? No, it's not about race. I said it's unfortunate because it paints a different picture, when, in fact, it's an economic it picture. Any, it can happen to anybody. Right, I mean, And right. It, it, it is happening to everybody. And it does. It's, it's happening to everybody. And it, and it's I mean, happening so. and has happened for years all over the country that these type, all you have to do, again, is go down to any paternity court in this country on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week. And that's what you're going to see? And that's what you're going to see. And you're going to see women there, unfortunately, they don't know where the father is. I, as a man, it's repulsive to me. Doesn't it, it become, know. doesn't it then perpetuate itself? Because certainly it does. Absolutely. Well, and certainly it does. It's an children, inertia. Sure. They're raised, less educational opportunity, especially in a single parent household. They're the victims. It, we're destroying generational, this is, this is generational yeah. theft. They're the victims. In our country. And don't forget, many times, many times, Sean, these kids, no disrespect again to the mothers, they end up in foster homes.
Mm. They end up you in know a foster home. Let's be disrespectful to the mothers. They no. did this. Right, They're go. part of this. Yeah. Guys, good to see you both. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Good to see you.